So if I were to choose one pair of shoes from each luxury brand that I'd like, it would be these ones. Now on this channel, I've been talking about bunion friendly shoes, wearable shoes, practical shoes. But today we're gonna go more on the impractical side, just dream a little bit and kind of look back to what if my bunion was never born. So we're gonna start with Salvatore Ferragamo. Now I really like Ferragamo shoes. I do have a pair of Ferragamo shoes. I actually haven't tried that pair of shoes yet and I haven't done a shoe test yet with my bunion. I will, but those are sandals and I'm not ready to take sandals out for the year yet. But the shoes that I am going to choose for Salvatore Ferragamo are the Gancini boots. There are two types of Gancini booties and I like the one with the side buckle more. The other two has like the buckle on the front but I really like the sleekness of just like a little buckle on the side and it is very timeless and classic. And I do have black boots like that, but Ferragamo shoes are just so comfortable. I don't know if they're bunion friendly yet, but I I'll, probably could go to the store. We'll see. The next brand we're gonna look at is Jimmy Choo's, the Love 100. Now these look completely impractical, but they look like a diamond pearl necklace for your feet and they are so pretty. And if I were to choose pumps, it would be from Jimmy Choo's over Louboutin because, well, if we are talking about comfortability, I actually find the Jimmy Choo's are more comfortable than Louboutin pumps. But going on to Louboutin, I would would be interested in trying their Rosalie. Now, I have tried the black Rosalie, but if I were to get a pair of Rosalie, it would be the white Rosalie. In a couple of videos ago, I did seven wearable shoe trend, and I talked about minimalistic shoes. And I really like the Rosalie with the swirl, like it swirls around your ankle, and it just makes it look like art. Even if your feet aren't in the shoes, and you use the Rosalie Louboutin shoes as like decor, or something. It looks really nice just on the shelf and white just works really well with spring and summer and yeah if you're wearing heels you wouldn't want to wear them in the winter or fall anyways. But if we're going on to minimalistic shoes talking about YSL I was looking into the opium sandal the ones where you have the YSL heel again with the straps it just swirls around the ankle it looks so nice and something about the YSL heel as much as I'm not a biggest fan of really loud logos. The YSL is a very loud logo on the shoe, but because of the monochrome black, I find the YSL actually blends into the shoe really well and it has that continuation going up your ankle with the minimalistic strap. So I really like that about YSL. Now, if we were to talk about practical, these shoes aren't going to work. I mean, you're not going to walk around in mud in them, but I was just thinking if you were to walk and then if you stepped in mud or something, the heel of the L would just be stuck in mud. Not saying like you would never be wearing these shoes if you were to walk in mud, but that was just the first thought I had. The next luxury brand I want to talk about are Manolo Blahniks. Now, when you think about Manolos, you think about... Carrie Bradshaw and her wedding shoes. Or if not, then it's just me. But I have tried those shoes on and they didn't speak to me very much. However, when I looked on their website, I actually saw the Walia shoes. I really liked the little heel in the back and then the dainty little strap mixed in with the geometric shapes at the front and top of the shoe. I find this is a very odd mix, but at the same time, I really like how this mixture is girly, complex, weird, and artistic all at the same time. And I don't know why it's calling to me or that just says something about me. <laughs> now let's move on to some other brands that are slightly more bag heavy. Well, I mean, YSL was bag heavy, but going into Dior, I really, really like and wish that I could wear the Jadior slingbacks, the embroidered version, the one that looks very lacy. <sighs> Those are so pretty. I have tried them on. They don't fit me very well. But let's say that we are still dreaming that my feet can fit into any shoe and everything is practical, something like that. Then yes, it would be these 
sling bags. And I like these shoes because they are girly, sexy, and a classic. They are a classic. Like when you think about Dior shoes, these are one of the shoes that you would see. Maybe not so much the embroidered style. A lot of like the more well-known sling bag is the black with just the Jadior white strap at the ankle. I do prefer the kitten heel over the mid heel or like the high heel. Okay. Going on to Chloe, I like Chloe. It's more of a, the bohemian style, like of free people and anthropology. Chloe's just more of that luxury brand of it. And the shoe that I would choose from Chloe are the Piper heeled boots. This style of boot is classic. I love that V detail. I think both of these colors are nice, but let's say I did have the Ferragamo black boot. Then of course I would choose the camel color. And this camel color just looks, oh, I can see these boots from jeans to trousers to even dresses. Now, moving on to Loewe, before I even tell you which shoes I chose from this brand, let's take a look at the types of shoes that they offer. Can we just appreciate how odd looking these shoes are? It's like an artwork. I love it and I hate it all at the same time. What I mean by that is look at these flamenco wedge boots. They look like bags you put over your shoes while you're walking around a muddy pumpkin patch. But if I did choose one, it would be the Gate Meal Sherling shoes. Again, we're dreaming here. This is super impractical. It looks like a pair of shoes that if I wore it out in Vancouver, it would come back looking like a wet dog that just rolled around in mud. Because wearing shirling on your feet, white shirling, yeah, that's not gonna work very well. But if we're just pretending and the ground is super clean all the time, these ones look so cozy and comfy. So those are the ones that I would love to try. Let's move on to Fendi. Now the shoe that intrigued me the most is actually the Fendi first heel, the sandal version, but the heel itself is so intriguing. It looks like you're standing on tippy toes because there isn't a pump at the back of the shoe. It just looks like you are leveled up and your feet are constantly like this if you don't look closely. And I really wanna try that and see what it feels like. If you have this shoe, can you please let me know because I'm interested if it feels any different than if you were to wear a pump but yeah these ones look intriguing and I do like artistic shoes I just don't know if they are practical now lastly we're gonna look at Hermes and when I say Hermes shoes do you also think about the Oran sandals because I do but I'm not interested in Orans because they are flat whenever I see like super flat shoes I kind of cringe for like my arches hurt just thinking about putting my feet in like super flat sandals I would prefer the Oran if they had a little heel and they do have one that's the Oasis and I would like to try those ones because I like the H shape on the sandal and they have that gold color that is really really pretty for marketing purposes it is a camel color but when you think of gold versus camel gold sounds better but I know some of you might actually have have the Orans or the Oasis and are they comfortable or are they just because it's Hermes you think that they are comfortable please let me know <laughs> anyways if you don't like me doing these types of videos talking about luxury brands then drop a comment down below and let me know subscribe if you haven't already and like this video because this was a lot of fun I just got to go through different brands and tell you what is worth trying for me and I just feel like I was just dreaming a little bit maybe okay I'm just rambling now but yeah this is just all talking about if I didn't have a bunion but I know a a lot of these shoes are probably not bunion friendly especially the types with a really really high heel but anyways we are gonna go back to this video where you can see more bunion friendly shoes and I will see you over there goodbye for now